Hello, welcome. My name is Martha Grimes. I am an independent paparazzi jewelry and accessories. Everything is $5. My consultant number is 211-484. So here, I'm going to get started showing you how I package up the packages for their jewelry after they buy off of my sale. Okay, so I go live. I put their jewelry in a basket. I write their name right here. Okay, that's an old name. So I put their name here, put their items here. In the pack, in the basket, I already have the fragile signs that are gonna go on the on the bubble envelope. I put them something for their jewelry. You know, if they're a repeater, I don't put this on, but if they're new, they all get a jewelry cleaner. Um I have a thank you sticker. I have a business card, the five S's, the 45% commission, and a little thank you note with my initials on it. And then, oh, look, here's the other one. And then I also have the paparazzi baggie, okay? So that goes there. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera. And then I go to wrapping. Okay, so I wrap all my jewelry nice and neat. So they get wrapped. Because nobody wants to open up something that's just thrown. Everybody likes opening up um, little presents. And I think that if... I get excited whenever I get wrapped stuff. I know somebody else does too. And who doesn't love wrapped jewelry? So this is the way I package them. Okay. So then this is the way it looks after it's done packaging. So they're all wrapped nice and neat. It doesn't matter if they are long, short, cuff, whatever kind of jewelry that they purchase. And then I get their, this one is a new customer. So I will, she will get a jewelry cleaner, a 45% commission, um, information of joining the team, a thank you note with my initials, the five S's of, of how to take care of her jewelry, my business card, the fragile sign, and the paparazzi bag. Now, right now, I only have a six by, um, I don't want to lie, so I will tell you, this one is a, the bubble wrap. So then I will go ahead and start putting everything in the paparazzi bag. And if it doesn't fit long ways, then I reorganize it and move it um the long way okay and this one is actually a does go out to somebody so i will print out their invoice don't forget always send them an invoice Since I am working right off on top of my table, everything is here. 
um, I will put links of everything I have to you can um, shop everything I buy is from um, Amazon except for the baggies they are from our back office at paparazzi the tissue paper is from Amazon the fragile signs are from Amazon and so are the bubble wrap the bubble wrap it's a six by ten six by ten so here is the invoice so I put their invoice in in the bag with all the other little things and of course you know you can do little flyers to put on your oops where's my little okay you can put little flyers in there you know with what's the special of this month you know join your vip group your business group And if your bag is too big, if this is too big for a six by 10, oh, um, you can always go up for a um, eight by 11. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Nope, it will fit in there. So then here it is, an eight by, I mean, a six by 10 with all the jewelry then i take out my scale okay this is my scale try it on make sure that it's not it's on ounces and pounds not on the other one okay and then this one weighs 9.6 so you're always going to run it up 9.4 so you're gonna run it, run it up. If it's 9.5, run it down. If it's below 9.5, and then you go to your computer with PayPal, and um, you input how much it weighs. So it's below 9.5, so it's just nine. And then. Let me show you. All right, then it comes out and prints a label. Okay, I will also put a link to where I buy the printing labels for your ink um, printer. It's also at Amazon, so I will put that on this on the description on the bottom. I then. Of course, you know, you go ahead and you put it on, which I'm not done here because I got to print out her label and then I would, um, let me see, I'll do it right now. Then what I do, I get the fragile sign. I put one in the front and then Wrap it right here goes the printing label. And then once the printing label is out and it's printed, it places right here. There's a little area where you can actually put another fragile sign on the bottom. So not only will your jewelry package have a fragile sign on the front, it will also have it in the back where your label goes.
okay so this is the way i put it and i make sure that it is a really good on there like i'll rub it over and over even when i take it to the mailbox to go drop it off at the post office i still run my finger over every corner and make sure that it's all and i put it here where i close it because that's how they know that there's no way somebody can open it not as you will see that it has been tempered with the label okay so i just run my finger all around it and then you don't ever want to make this um not not readable so you want to make sure that there's no bumps no um little pieces that are stuck together you know how when you put it like this and this area as well so they scan this and they scan this.